video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Doing another stipulation today, we're doing un uno. So as opposed to uno, where you have to stay in the same colors and numbers, this is the opposite of it. So here are the rules. Um, you can't do consecutive picks that are the same color. So if you took a blue card, you have to take something different. That are the same CMC. So if you took a three, you have to take something not a three. Lands are colorless, but you can't do consecutive colorless picks either. Gold cards count for both. So if you take something like... Um, uh, Baleful Strix, it's going to count for both blue and black, and so that gets like locked out for the next one. Um, each pack resets at the beginning of the pack, you can choose again. And the exceptions are for um, the Power 9 and Soul Ring and Mana Crypt, the honorary power. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our last card is an Oblivion Ring. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Reanimate is probably the best card here. Primetime is also really good. It's also, it's just kind of expensive though. I don't know if... Easy Reclamation. Reclamation is probably one of the worst cards in cube right now. I don't know why they have that in there. We can't force Storm King Fizzy gig. We, we have to try to draft the deck with the restrictions. We're just doing on Uno. Yeah, Dokumai, I agree. Taking double green is like kind of sketch in this format. So we can take Reanimate, which now locks us out of one in black. Um, okay, so we could take Watery Grave from this pack. Oh, we could take Ancient Tomb. Yeah, I like Tomb Cyclo. It's just a good, it's just a good land. Like, we're not even sure which colors we're going to be. It's a little sketchy to take Tomb because I think we're going to be a three-color deck at the very least. I know, Ancient Tomb and Anun is like a little sketchy. <laughs> I just don't think you have to end up in five colors. You could probably end up in three. Maybe we should take Watery Grave. Hmm. Reanimate plus Blightsteel, perfect. It doesn't work. It has a replacement effect, actually. Oh, I have to update the overlay. You're right. I think it's Watery Grave. Let me update the stipulation. Un uno. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I think we should take Watery Grave. So Watery Grave counts as colorless, so now we can't take land or zeros. So Bayou is out. Could take... Could take... <laughs> Click? Yeah, maybe. I was looking at the Everflowing Chalice a little bit, but that's a zero, too. I'm kind of liking the click, yeah. What if we try to be like you? Like, we take click and that locks us out of blue and three, but then we can take a black card next card. Elves? Stip draft, not stip draft. I was very confused at first. I know. Stipulation un uno. <laughs> Wait, maybe I should call it anti uno. Um, This is kind of medium, but we can take dark slick shores if we think we're going to be black blue base. Uh, alternatively, we take... I could see Inferno Titan, too. I kind of like Dark Slick Shores, because I... You know, we have a click and a reanimate, and both are really good cards. So I feel like it's very likely we want to play it with both of them. Dude, th this this stipulation hasn't... Like, I'd, right now, we wouldn't have drafted too differently, though I'm sure as this advances, we're going to be in, locked in some spots where it's like, wow, we would have done something extremely different in this spot. Um... What's the stipulation? It's un uno. Hit exclamation mark uh, stip and it'll show up in the chat. Thank you so much, Nucleo. We could take Iona as a thing that we can reanimate. Alternatively, we could take Toxic Deluge just as a good, like, black blue card. We only can't. Oh, did we, did we, like, daub for a little bit? Uh, oh, yeah, my connection looks unstable. Well, this is the last day I have to stream from here, so that, that is bad. It does look like it's kind of bad. I know, Wujo, I told you. Oh, like, cool, we're back. I think I'm going to take Deluge. I also think Iona might wheel. Yes, Cyclo, that's that's exactly why. I think Iona might come back. Okay, so now we can take three or black. Oh, man, we actually would have liked the Murderous Rider. So here's, like, one of the first picks we're going to have to go somewhere else. We also can't take Vraska. 
It's fine after F5. Yeah, so if you're hitting a problem, just hit a little refresh and it looks like it might be back to normal. Yeah, that's true. Woodfall Primus is a good reanimate target. It's like essentially like Iona if we don't wheel it. Yeah, I like a Dokomoi. So we can't take 8 or green. Mm, but we can take him to Torak. It is black and 2. Marsh Flats fetches Watery Grave? Is that better than taking him? So the only reason not to take him is if that we end up in a really colorful deck, him is really hard to cast. And Marsh Flats is like a very flexible pick. Hi, H2! My Christmas is going awesome. How is yours? We've done so many stipulation drafts. We've done like three or four days straight of steps. I think I'm going to go with... Mm, kind of go with him. Kind of want to go with him. All right, so we are back to no black or twos. Maybe flats is more responsible. I, I just love him so much. I think it's such a good card. Yeah, so we can't pick something with the same color or CMC. Lands are colorless, and it resets every pack. Um, and then what else? And there's just exceptions for power, soul ring, and mana crypt. I think we can take porcelain legionnaire. Yeah, I think so. It's a three and it's white. Because it doesn't break the step. Oh no! We would actually maybe have taken the Tide Hollow Sculler. Can't take Kitchen Finks either. Can't take Oblivion Ring either. I guess maybe we can take Maze of Ith? Then that means that we can take almost anything next turn. Because we're not really going to play O-Ring, I don't think. <laughs> oh. Also, I can't take Oblivion Ring because it's a 3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might be. Okay, let's take Maze of Ith. And now we're back to colorless and zero. Which means we can take the hero's downfall now. That's good. Oh, the putrid imp is actually not bad either. It is a discard outlet for Woodfall Primus for us to reanimate. So we're kind of like a reanimator deck. Legionnaire being white and three is such nonsense. I mean, look, Molly, tell me... I know it's over here, but tell me I'm not abiding by the rules. Uh, downfall is fine. I think I like the putrid imp. Let's try to do the reanimator thing. So, we could take Lingering Souls. We could be white-black. Could also take Council's Judgment. You punted a draft that was five points short of another draft? No, German! Lingering Souls is not black, I don't think. It counts as, as white in three. <clears throat> Arc. Arc to reset exclamation mark stip, and you're going to see it. Okay, so we can't take Banishing Light, unfortunately. I guess we have to... Oh, but we can't take Lunvala either. So it's Yavimaya Elder or LED. I guess I'd rather take LED because that's a colorless pick. Yeah, I like the souls here too. Yeah, I think this is like a GB ramp reanimator deck, kind of. Oh, we will the Iona. Yeah, we no, we said no color identity for this. We said that for... um. It, it makes sense for Uno when you're actually trying to abide by Uno rules. Let me take the Iona. Oh no, okay, I think because this is a white pick, I am forced to take something here, and I can't play it. So I think it's face fetters, but I can't play it. And Gideon Jura, and I can't play it, because I have to make two illegal picks. Hey, That's a shame. <laughs> Stack is more coherent than you thought it'd be after pack one? Yeah, it's not terrible. Last card is a trinket mage. Remember, we're reset again, so we can take anything we want now. You think I can play them? It, it, there's something weird about, like, having to be forced to make that pick and then, like, still being able to play them. Because I think we would play Fates Fetters. Maybe we can do a poll and see what chat thinks. We can do TSG, Scarab God, I think, or Factor Fiction, maybe. Like, if you goof cheat, that's one thing, but if you had no choice, do you agree? Yeah, we'll ask chat at the end and see. and see. Maybe I'll do a poll right here. Like, if you were forced to make a pick, like, are you still alive to play it? Hmm. Oh, we could take Oath of Druids, but we have Putrid Imp and Porcelain Legionnaire, so we're not really, like, that kind of deck. I don't think we're, like, an Oath deck, not really. I kind of like... So the reason I don't want to take the Scarab Goddess is because it locks us out of both colors, so that makes me want to take kind of, like, Factor Fiction or Library. I don't love Library, but I think we could take it here. It's also a flexible pick for pack two. Ooh, Snappy Reanimate is really good. Um... 
Prismatic Vista, I can't take, unfortunately. Mm, rats. Rats. I think Snappy looks pretty good here, right? We have not a lot of stuff. Like, Lingering Souls doesn't really work with Snap, and but Reanimate works great with Snap. So let's take Snap and, like, maybe try to find a couple more spells for it. So we can't take two or blue. Oh, man. <laughs> Riftwing Cloudscape. <laughs> I love that card, but we can't take it. Uh, how do we feel about... We can't take Ponder. We could take Tundra. Yeah, Cyclo, I like it. Yeah, I know. There's so many picks we would have, like, actually really wanted here. Cloudskate and Ponder mainly. So let's just take Tundra. So we're zero or... Um, colorless is out. Um, that means we probably... We can't take Cryptic. Just Gravy Tea, probably. Gravy Tea is a fine one to pick. DC, thank you for the raid. Uh, can we take Cryptic? We have a bunch of duels. <laughs> the thing is kind of sketchy. DC, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a really good stream. Welcome on in, Raiders. We are doing an un-uno stipulation draft. I'm kind of digging the Grave Titan here. I think it looks, like, decent. No! Oh! Wow, we got debated. We should have specified one cheat pick, but we didn't. <laughs> Feels bad, man. All right, so I guess if we're not taking Entomb, we are going to take Gifts Ungiven, maybe? Yeah, yeah, you are guessing right, DC. So the rules are you can't take the same color or same CMC's lands are colorless. It resets every pack. And um, you also can't do colorless back-to-back. -back. <sighs> Gifts Ungiven is like Entomb. <laughs> Four mana and tomb. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Nucleo. I guess we'll take gift. So four and blue are out. Well, there's our metamorph. I guess we can take kite cell freebooter. Could also take shieldred. God, I can't believe that was the entomb. Feels so bad, man. Go for gifts and... Yeah, we can also go for gifts and try to get rights. Yeah, so it's un Uno, so it's backwards to Uno. We did the Uno stipulation draft, which is stay in the same colors and same CMCs. This is like the opposite of it. <sighs> yeah, we, we're losing Gip Probe too. All right, we'll take Shieldred. So now we're locked out of seven and black. We actually would have been pretty happy to take the Dark Confident. That's too bad. Shambling Vent, maybe? It was good. It lost in the finals twice and then... To reload with Monored in 25 minutes. Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we're going to take the Shamble Dad. So this is Colorless and... Um, colorless is locked out. Colors and Zero. Ooh, Recurring Nightmare. We can maybe get something going on with Recurring Nightmare. We already got the Gravy Tea. Love it. Okay, we, we got a good pick. That's good, at least. Let me move this over here. And let's move this here. So three and black are gone. Rats. Rats off to you. We can't take that stupid pack rat. Um, I guess we can take Path to Exile. It's good with Snap. Yeah, Path or Oath. I think if we just draft a recurring nightmare, I'm very likely to put cheap creatures with utility in my deck, which makes me want to take Path to Exile more. So one and white are locked out. Like Shriek Maw is a good card that you can play for cheap to get in the yard to. Sh Bring back with Recurring Nightmare once you pay something bigger. It's that or like Eunice Prowler, I think. Oh, you guys are really on Prowler. All right, all right, I'm, I'm into it. Let's take Prowler. So two and black are gone. Uh, so we can't take Mesmeric Fiend. That's too bad. Tide Taker is actually not a shabby little like creature to sack. We might be like a white-black Recurring Nightmare deck with like a little blue splash. Could also take Garrick, maybe. Oh, Takers 2. You're right. I have to take Garrick. You're totally right. I, I spaced. So I don't want Sword. I guess I take Hippie. Yeah, I, I, I totally spaced out. I, thanks for... I almost cheated, chat. Thank you, thank you. Keeping me honest. I think I'll take... Oh, you know, Entomb is in the next pack, I think. So let me do this. I'm going to take Sword of Light and Shadow to... Mm. I was hoping, Molly. I was hoping. I was hoping. I guess I'll take a Vampire Hex Mage. 
Uh, so I, I'm forced to take Silver Blade Paladin here. Put it in the sideboard. And this I'm forced to do. I know. I know Entomb doesn't wheel, but I also wasn't going to play anything there. I wasn't going to play a hippie. Uh, chat, let me do a quick... Oh, that's an exception. I guess it doesn't matter because we're resetting the pack anyways. But we are taking that soul ring, baby. Let me reserve this. I need to do a poll here in chat real quick. Where's my poll option? Um, I don't see it. Manage poll. Okay. Uh, here's the manage poll. A uh, new poll. If... If we had an illegal pick we were forced to make, can we still play? Can we play it? Okay. If there's... If we... Okay, it's going to be spelled wrong, okay? If we an illegal pick that we were forced to, to make, can we play it? Uh, yeah and no. It's spelled wrong because the, the poll was too long. Hi, happy dude. Welcome. All right, so we're going to take Soul Ring real quick. Uh, so we are locked out of one and colorless. Easiest yes of my life. Let's see what people are saying. Currently 20 votes for yeah and 5 votes for no. It's still going. 22 for yeah, 5 for no. Uh, let me look over here. Show and tell? No, I don't think we want show and tell. I think we want mind twist. Oh, no, we can't. Tw we can't twist because mind twist is uh, is one. No, it's not an easy show and tell to far. Now you, show and tell is terrible. Yeah, I think it's just verdant. Uh, the final poll was 27 to 6. Okay, so we're going to say that Faith's Fetters is allowed to be played and also Containment Priest um, since we since it was a goof pick. Yeah, we'll take verdant. Ooh, yes wins with 27 votes. So colorless is, ooh, living death. We don't have that many ways to put stuff in the yard. That's like one of the biggest problems we have. Maybe it's just Night's Whisper. Living Death Pog. The problem synth is we just really don't have that many ways to bin stuff. We have the Unus Prowler and that's it. Uh, we can't take Creeping Tarpet German. We just took a land. Yeah. Yeah, that one's not allowed. I think we take Night's Whisper. If we wheel a Buried Alive, that'd be pretty sweet. Luteral Core could be good too. Collective Brutality. Oh no, we can't take Collective Brutality. Oh no. Wasn't Verdant cheap because you picked Soul Ring before? But Soul Ring's converted mana cost is. Oh. Wait, was it? Yes. Oh my gosh. We cheated. Didn't we? We went Soul Ring into Colorless. Is that what we did? Hold on. Did we cheat? We did cheat. We can't play the Verdant. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. There was an exception for power, but that still makes the next pick legal. No! Verdant to the sideboard. Feels bad, man. Okay, so last pick was Knight's Whisper. Uh, what are we picking here still? Can't collect a Brutality. I guess... Oh, can't Luteral Core. I guess Karn Sign of Urza. Yo, Picor! Yeah, we cheated. We can't play the Verdant. Okay, we'll just keep that in mind. That's so sad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Picor, for the Prime sub. So we can't take four Colorless. We can't take Eureka. <laughs> um, Treasure Cruise? Toxic, we, have, we had an exception for Power and Honorary Power, so Mana Crypt and Soul Ring. We, the, yeah, there's literally nothing for us to take here. I guess I'll take Treasure Cruise, but it's not even good. Okay, so... 8 and blue are out. Mm. Revoker, just to have something... Oh, Vamp Tutor's actually okay. To get Reanimate. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah, and we can take it because it's one in black. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I like it. Can't take Necromancy. Damn. On Uno is very complicated. It has been hard, Reach. Hey, Sarina, welcome. Uh, this is a stip draft. We're doing un Uno. 
<sighs> so we can't do one or black. So we can't take necromancy and like basically anything else. We have no counter spell, so the Baral doesn't really work. Can't take damnation. Can't take Leo. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll take Kodama's Reach. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think we're playing it. So three and green are gone. What is the converted mana cost of this? Six or three? I, I can't, I, I have no idea. I think we're taking six, both. Six. I believe it's six. We could take Spectral, nine. <laughs> All right, most people are saying it's six. Let me move Kodama's Reach to the side. We can take Sundering Titan or we can take Spectral Possession, even though like our mana is so bad. 100% sure? Okay, Time Toaster, if you're 100% sure, we'll take Spectral. And six is locked out. Hey, we got the Buried Alive, love it. So this is actually, this is working out okay, given how this draft has gone, because this draft has gone so badly. Um, okay, so three and black are gone, so so is Frex and Arena, and so is Sword of Body and Mind. Black? No. No, Spectral Possession is white. Yeah, unexpectedly absent, I guess. Oh, it could take Bane Slayer, maybe. Bane Slayer actually sounds a little bit better. <laughs> like when you're taking- No! We actually would have liked Living Death. Oh my gosh, feels so bad. We had so many picks where this happened. God, I wish I would have taken Absent. So stupid. Uh, I guess I'll take the ready. No, let me take Carnage Tyrant because I. There you go. I took Carnage Tyrant because then that opens up my next pick a little bit better. Oh my god, I can't take Sun Titan. <laughs> I can't. Feels terrible, man. Oh, I'm just gonna take Caracas. And it's so. It's just unbelievable. I'll take Wish Claw Talisman and just feel bad about my life. I might play Wish Claw Talisman, honestly. Alright, take Gideon. <laughs> Maelstrom Pulse. Wow. That went so poorly. The Entomb was so brutal. Okay. Wow. Can't take Lady Otarka. Can't take... Also couldn't take Sun Titan. That was so bad. Yes, Wishclaw is not even close to being playable, so let me get that out of there. So we have 26 cards. Let's see what we want to do. Uh, do we want to keep Woodfall Primus as a reanimate target? We're not, like, the most dedicated reanimator deck, so... Path, Putrid Imp, Reanimate, Vamp, and Sol Ring seem fine. We probably just cut all the blue, right? Like, Click seems so difficult to cast. That's 25. Cut Garrick. That's 24. I can keep Snap in, because I have Dark Slick Shores, Tundra, and Watery Grave, so that Splash is, like, relatively free. And then Gifts on Given also looks super bad. So maybe I cut that. And now I have a Splash Snappy, Splash Woodfall Primus to reanimate. And then Spectral Possession here at three, Grave Titan, Shouldered, Woodfall Primus, and, Sh and Iona. <sighs> Keep Gifts? Gifts is so bad here. What am I doing with the Gifts ever? I guess I can always Gifts for Lingering Souls, which is kind of a combo, like regardless of where they put it. <laughs> this this definitely seems like a deck. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I guess Gifts is kind of buried alive. Maybe I... But I don't think Baneslayer is the worst card we have. Maybe it's Vampire Hex Mage. Uh, what about Porcelain Legionnaire? That card seems just kind of medium. You think Spectral is the worst card? It might be. I think it's between, like, Hex Mage, Spectral, and Porcelain Legionnaire and add Gifts back in, basically. Yeah, let's just get rid of Spectral. Okay, I, I'm, I'm down for that. So now let's do some manas. Let me add... What do I give? Chandra, Shambling Vent, 
Um, library, Caracas, Dark Slick Shore, and Verdon has to stay out here. <laughs> Illegal pick, Goober. Oh, we could play Gideon 5. That actually sounds reasonable. What could we cut to make room for Gideon 5? We can probably cut the Porcelain Legionnaire. Play Gideon Jura. We agreed that that is a legal action that we can take. Yeah, I can't believe we forgot about the Verdant thing. I no one no, no one said anything and I didn't notice either. So let's go with black, white, um, blue. So for black we have dark slick, shambling vent, and uh, watery grave. So that's three. For white we have Caracas, shambling vent, and tundra. That's three. And for blue, we have Dark Slick, um, Tundra, and Water. So we have three for each one. Yeah, I think we were broken up about the twist, right? We are like, oh, we can't take the twist because it's a one. Oh, that's so unlucky. Yada, yada. Let me cut two of these. Go up and up. And even maybe like one island. And this puts us at... Nine black sources, seven white sources, three blue sources. We have to cut the island and add another planes. Wow, our mana is really bad. This puts us at... Nine black sources, eight white sources, three blue sources. Wow, we've got the devil's mana base. Oh yeah, we can play fetters. Actually, why don't we play fetters? I forgot about that. We totally can play fates fetters. Uh, stipulations are rules that you set before the draft start, and then you do the draft according to those rules. So, um, it could be, like, you always have to draft a Planeswalker in a pack, you always have to take a card, convert a mana cost seven or more, um, you have to force an archetype. Like, it's just, like, rules that you set beforehand. It's just a way to make the drafts a little different and pretty interesting. Should we play... No, I think we should play the blue... I guess we could cut Snappy and give Sun Given and then just have a white black mana base and just be like a white black horrible deck. Yeah, maybe that's actually the way to go. And cut Dark Slick. Cut Sh Tundra. And cut Watery Grave. Nope. And add, yeah, like that. Cut a Swamp. Is the goal to bin Primus? Yeah, we have... We might want to cut the Primus once we did that. Set up, because now we're playing the Fates Fetters. Maybe we don't want the Primus at all. The only way we can get the Primus in the yard is with... Una's Prowler... And Putrid Imp. Nah, this is fine. We can actually live with that, I think. So one... Let's see how many white sources we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And then black sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. So 9, 8 mana. Yeah, and buried alive. You're right. So we need one more thing. I guess we can get the either the Spectral Procession or the Porcelain Legionnaire back in. Or even the Containment Priest might be okay. Kind of like the Porcelain Legionnaire. Wow, this deck really went off the rails. Okay. <laughs> Run LED has a discard outlet. So sad. All right. Chat, I want to hear your predictions. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can't him yourself. That is a thing you can do. I kind of feel this. This looks like a 1 2 deck to me. Oh, 3 or 1 2 deck to me. Hmm. Synth gives us a 2 1. I like it. That's good attitude. That's optimistic, but I like it. Hmm. I feel like if we get a match win, like, it's just going to be the best. <laughs> we do have Soul Ring that does speed things up. We do have some good cards, like Grave Titan can just win. Recurring Nightmare, if you have a good loop going, can win also. What's the over-under you're giving, chat? It seems like chat's saying 1.5 is what it sounds like to me. This looks okay. We get to keep and uh, Night's Whisper. We might even discard the Woodfall Primus to, to discard. You're taking the under on 1.5? I would probably take the under on 1.5. 
We're going to trophy and it'll be legendary. I will say one of the best things is when you do a stip draft and then you trophy with it, it's just like when you do a stip draft and the deck is terrible and you somehow win, it's the best. <laughs> I like it, Slumers. Uh, let's go ahead and play Slump. We're going to what? One, two. Okay, Jamie, I like that prediction, but one of those match losses will be narrow and a heartbreaker. Oh, no. Oh, that's fine. I thought they were going to go like Goblin Guide and we were just dead. So they bend a Shriek Maw. So they're a black red deck. Interesting. Oh, that's not bad either. Let me go ahead and Night's Whisper. So we have a couple things we want to actively bend from our hand. It's bad that we drew them. Bad decks equals trophy, grid decks equal disappointment. That does happen a lot, I will say. Wow, I really doubt we're ever gonna get the cast Iona. She's so expensive. Nine manas? It's like impossible. They look to be a, also a reanimator deck, but I think. I mean, they probably drafted without a stipulation. I guess we don't know. But uh, I, I have a hard time believing that their hand looks worse than ours. Oh my gosh, chat, if you missed it, yesterday we did a stipulation draft. What? My opponent has mana ball! Mateo, thank you! Ooh, someone's at my door. What's going on? They played an arcane artisan. I hit exclamation mark stick my card and you'll see. Also you, JK. Mm. I think we just want to get this lingering souls going. Which door? Oh, the one the one back in the US. Somebody was at my door. They're not looting with Artisan. Maybe they are looting with Artisan. They are. Okay. This Does this stop their... Oh, no! No, we're dead. <laughs> Their deck looks like a pretty decent reanimator deck. Are we dead? Are we not not dead? I kind of feel like we are dead. We don't have any answer to this. And they just have an Ashen Rider now. Okay, I think that means we have to play Shambling Vent. Yeah, Ashen Rider's a pretty good card. That card got a little standard play because people were like trying to reanimate it and stuff. Yeah, Ashen Rider's Monka is. I think, um, I think what's most likely to happen is if they are a reanimator deck and we just had no way to disrupt the Arcane Artisan, like we're just gonna die in a sec. Perhaps a tweak to the step can be made in the future to make their lands their own thing instead of colors so you can actually have a way to get decent ramp, mana ramp. I could see that. I like, I will say I think I liked Uno better. I think Uno works a little bit better than this. You have less stuff to take, to think about, like, as opposed to, like, canceling everything out. You know what I mean? Like, in the, in un Uno, you have to cancel out all the picks versus in Uno, you just have very few picks you can make. Um, Cyclo, I'm, I'm a little worried about taking life against this thing. Maybe I should have played it anyways. Like, I feel like they're gonna do that, and then they're gonna put another creature in play. Well, we're, we're just dead. I guess I'll wait and see what we draw. Hello, 
goobs. Hey, BK. BK, my deck is bad. My deck is bad and I feel bad. I don't actually feel bad, but my deck is bad. Uh, Containment Priest, get in there. What else do we want? Mm. Okay, BK, so the rules to Un-Uno are these. Take a look. Oh, they're not creatures. If a non-token creature... Oh, wow. <sniffs> Never mind. We can't actually use that. Wow, so it does absolutely nothing, huh? What does Sword of Light and Shadow do again? When deals combat damage to a player, you gain three life and you may return up to one target card from your graveyard to your hand. They probably have reanimation spells too, though. Yeah, Yuka, that's what I was thinking. And Vampire Hexmage didn't look like it did much against what we saw. So I'm going to keep the Containment Priest because I think there's some chance that, that it might be good. Oh my, BK! BK, don't be like this. Ooh, Karakas, love it. I know, BK. You ain't afraid of the <laughs> BK. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slow roll the Karakas, I think, to next turn. Although I guess I could get... Nah, because him doesn't happen. I'm on the play. BK, those are some famous last words you're saying over there. Careful. BK, when do you go back to Denver? When do you head back? You're back for the 30th, right? All right are we going to do something? We should do something fun. No. The 31st. So are you going to be there that night or no? Okay. You'll be there that night. Cool. We should do a, we should do something. Okay. This is the plan. We're going to Night's Whisper and then we're going to uh, draw one of our like bangers and then we're going to discard it to hand size. If not, we'll just be in a swamp because we have a lot of lands. What I have in mind, I don't know. I just like get together, play games. It's not different than <laughs> any of the times we get together. Oh, you're right. I'm not drawing the hand size. I'm drawing up to seven. Well, I guess I don't have to discard then. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have anything in hand anyways. I have the Karaka, so if they try to reanimate Grizzlebrand, I can get him. Time to force more storm. You know what maybe we should have done? Maybe we should have slow rolled the planes. Hold on the, onto the Karakas and then if they grizzle brand, we just Karakas and bounce it back to their hand. What's the stipulation? Quantum, we did un uno. So it's like this. Basically, like un uno, you usually stay on... Oh, they're, they're doing something here. They are vamping. Slow rolling the Krakas is a BK level play. I got a little nervous thinking that they might have something that makes me discard it, but there's so few things that make you discard lands. <laughs> BK, you're like one step away from getting banned. Or not banned, but desorted. So you better check yourself. You best check yourself, son. <laughs> so, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We could discard Grave Titan to hand size, vamp for reanimate, and then reanimate Grave Titan next turn. <laughs> is that too cute? It probably is. I should probably just play land and pass. Shadow Wolf! Shadow Wolf, welcome! Yeah, I think it's too cute. Let's not. Yep, first badge means first to get banned, so BK better check himself. I think Molly also has a first badge. But Molly, Molly doesn't do things to get banned like BK does. <laughs> There's the Entomb. I guess we're going to Deluge something in a second. Ooh, Tutor for Sol Ring is cute. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Molly is who gets the BKs of the world in, in BK jail. So if we vamp for Sol Ring next turn, then we'll be able to Grave Titan the following turn. Is that even worth it? I don't feel like it. I don't know. Hmm. 
What is worth it to get here? We could... We could get Karn Sign of Urza and try to draw some cards. Oh, BK, stop. <laughs> Don't be a baby. But yeah, I, BK, I think most people except Caroline and Sam are going to be back for the 31st. So we could just do like a ring in the new year get together sort of thing. I don't know. Ooh, Vamp for Priest sounds really spicy. Yeah, I like it. I, I mean, I, I can't do it right now. They're entombing, choosing what to entomb. There's the Grizzly Beezy. Well, why would they get Grizzly Beezy? I have Karakas. Oh, they're corpse dancing back the greasy beezy. I think what happens if we bounce is they just draw, probably, and then they discard again. Mox Ruby. And then they're gonna discard a bunch to hand size. That was weird. Why would they get Grizzlebrand? Why wouldn't they get Ashen Rider? I think it's time to tutor Priest, dude. I'm really gonna. They clearly have another reanimation spell. Let me go ahead and vamp. I'm gonna get the Priest and then I'm gonna play a Planes and I'm just gonna pass. That's the plan. <laughs> Containment priest. Okay. Let's let the corpse dance. And let's see what they've been also, because this is going to be a bunch of stuff. This has been a weird game. So are they using this as it just a way to get more things in the yard? And then next turn, like, necromancy or reanimate or something? Maybe. This means they get to keep Grizzlebrand as a reanimation target. Yeah. Let's see what they've been. They only have one more to bin. So Swamp Mountain and they still have the Grizzly Beezy. There's our Containment Priest. They only bin three lands, so they kept everything else in hand. Alright, we can just chill. A little Cuban chill. Uh, It's not Living Death, because if it were Living Death, I think they... Oh, maybe it is Living Death. Liliana Death's Majesty. Okie dokie. Here comes the Grizzly Beezy. Please. Will I ever get the ability to feed the doggo with our channel points? Yeah, I can't eat it. I'm just not at home right now. I'm visiting my parents um, for the holidays. They made a token? Yeah, they didn't they didn't reanimate it. That's weird. That's kind of chicory, you know. Temporary zone is Manival and Woodfall Primus. Yeah, if Julie did not come to, with me to Ecuador, I don't think I want to play the Containment Priest. I'm aware I have Caracas. We used that to bounce the Grizzlebrand earlier. Okay. So this is this is nice. Look at this. Look at this. One, two, three. Actually, three. And it's gonna look like I messed up. <laughs> Oops, I can't play Lingering Souls. <laughs> it's so unlucky, but it's now in the yard. What does that mean? It means you add special rules to the draft and you have to adhere to the rules during the... Here we go! Ding dong. Look at this! <laughs> oh baby! Got him! Wow, debated by the auto-tapper! <laughs> uh, love it. <laughs> T 
Too many dribs. Yeah, I mean, it could also look like it wanted to hold up Karakas because it could just bring back Grizzlebrand, but still. Now we get to untap and Grave Titan and, like, start chipping away at Liliana with a spirit, the Espiritus. <laughs> you thought it said strip drops? No, I think, uh, I think that's for another channel. <laughs> I think that's a very different channel. And then, like, the following turn we can Lingering Souls. I, it doesn't look like we're gonna need Deluge this game. Yeah, that's a manga TOS for sure. LSV strip cube <laughs> later tonight. <laughs> Luis had some really good uh, cubes miss cubes going. It's too bad that he can't stream from California because he, um, I know he had the like cube itch. Ooh, arcane artisan's kind of spooky. Shriekma targeting my containment priest. Sure. You went to see Cats yesterday and I went to one of those dinner theaters where you got two margaritas. Sadly, I was still pretty sober after that. <laughs> Man, I heard that movie is just wild. We're gonna have to take the hit. Putrid and Pum. I wonder if they're streaming the cube draw from CFB Gamer tonight. Uh, they weren't streaming it yesterday, so I don't think they will today. Because they were cubing yesterday as well. And it looks like Sponzi just clobbered Luis with a nice mono red deck. Dokomo, when did you and Sponzi stream? That's really sweet. I did not see that. I missed out on the notice for that. Your favorite review of Cats was, I was not a cat person going into the movie and afterwards I'm sh not sure I'm a movie person anymore. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, man. <laughs> I really want to see that movie. It looks so wild. It, it looks- it seems really bad. It seems terrible. All the- I don't know if you guys saw. All the, um, artists and movie, uh, and all the actors that were in any way connected to the movie are, like, trying to find a way to distance themselves from it. So, like, so people were like, yeah, you know, we were sold on a vision of what it was going to look like, and it didn't end up looking like that, but it was fun to film it. <laughs> you think Sponzi has been on my stream to draft two or three times, most recently during, like, August? That's really cool, Dokum. Why didn't I know that? That is cool beans. He drafted a good, um, a good Monored deck yesterday. I saw a little... Oh, no! This is going to be an Ashen Rider! My Grave Titan! So what's our plan? Send everything at Lily and then Toxic Deluge to... kill everything? Yeah, I think it's Attack Deluge for three. Play Library and try to draw a bunch of cards. Oh, not good. Not good. Okay. Attack all at Lily. Yeah, it doesn't even kill Lily. It's like, gets Lily down to one, and then I deluge for three. Sure, that makes sense, Shadow Wolf. But there's plenty of plays that, that made, um... Wait, for reals? They're gonna let me kill Lily? No way! Were they that worried to block with Ashen Rider? I don't believe you! This exiles it, right? It's when it dies, so I just need to... No, Deluge for 5 is not just as good numbers, Newsy. It's, it's not actually. When this... Deluge for 5 costs me more, more monies. More lives, rather. Yeah.
Yeah, Deluge for three is good. That's why I wanted to do it for three. I just wanted to make sure that Arcane Artisan died. Then that exiles this and then I don't get debated. Wait, what? Oh, it's at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, 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 cool. Wahoo! Thank you so much for the 34. I appreciate that. You are so kind. I'm not gonna future dimp. I think I just want to souls and then play library and maybe try to draw up to seven or something. Is that worth it? I could also just go on the beatdown plan. They're gonna have two cards left. So I can go swamp, future dimp, and then try to kill them in three turns. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's better. I guess we're like off the library dream. It's just not gonna happen. All right. And step. Yeah, Dreamy, I don't really know what that no block was. I'm like, because it, it can't be even Dismember or anything, right? Because Dismember just kills it straight up. So why not block the souls? <laughs> thank you. Hold on. I missed a, I missed a resub. Wahoo. Thank you so much for the 39. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back to our monstrosity deck. Okay, so they get to flashback soul or faith of saluting. So this is on threshold. As long as seven or more cards are in your graveyard, Petra Dimp gets plus one, plus one, and can't block. And we're at one, two, three. One, two, three, four. We were at five, but then we exiled it. That's too bad. Purplish! The stipulation is un uno. Um, yeah, it's showing up in chat right now if you want to look at the MTG bot. Yeah, exactly, Dreamy. Um... Because if it's Languish, then that just kills the Artisan, too. Oh, man. No. Hey, Reign of Terror, welcome. We're losing. They found a good one. They gave me an Elefante. That's like not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. This could be six. Because they can't attack yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we just threshold jump the imp and then jump the imp again? I think so. And then just like chump the Terastodon or whatever. So... Discard a card. This is really aggressive, but I think we have to do what we gotta do. Bin again. Okay, so now let's begin combat. Uh, so they're at 8, right? We can attack with not the elephant. We can attack with that and the two spirits. And next turn they attack, I can block elephant to Terastodon and take 6 from the elephants. Then discard another card and put them... Yeah. Yeah, I have never discarded a get threshold for future dim, by the way. This is the first. This works. This should work. If they don't have something for the elephant, if they have something for the elephant, we'll die. If not, we have him dead in two turns. We just bin again, um, fly and hit him for eight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good plan, obviously, but they, they would have to have something very specific, like a bounce spell or like a deal three spell. Otherwise, they're just going to attack, I block, I take six, not dead, and then just attack again. <laughs> I have never seen that Putrid Imp is using this aggressive. Yes, never. I, have, I don't think I've ever really attacked with a Putrid Imp. It just never happens. Like, whenever you get Putrid Imp, it's just a discard outlet. That's true. Um, Darkling Scribe. That does kind of shut off, reanimate for them a little bit. I think the discard for threshold was actually the intended use for putrid imp. No, what it has become. <laughs> That's true. They they are tanking, so I think we're winning. How do they have seven cards? Oh, they grizzle branded at some point when we bounced it. That's the same game. This has been going on for a while. Yan yan, hit exclamation mark step, and they'll show you the step. Hey, chicken, welcome. Yeah, is this winning? <laughs> All right, one land means one less thing that they could possibly have. 
There it is, Yon Yon. It's like right above you. So it's an Uno. Okay, they're going to combat, which presumably means I get to block. Yeah. Oh no, they're pausing. Let me block. Let me block. Let me block. Okay. K K K K K K K K K. We did it! Oh my god, I can't believe we won that game. Okay. Um, that's incredible. Okay, Containment Priest is still looking good. Do we want Maze of Ith against this player? Is it better than Library? It might be okay. <laughs> Losing to Putridimp. <laughs> Putridimp with the threshold, excuse you. Maybe Sword of Light and Shadow is actually kind of for this matchup. We haven't seen Living Death from them either, right? Don't worry, Reina Terror. Don't apologize for that. Ain't no thing. Porcelain Legionnaire looks awful. Mm. We just want, like, Disruption or something like that. Click, Gifts, Treasure Cruise, Silver Blade, Pound, Inspector, Procession. I kind of feel like Sword of Light and Shadow might be a good way to, like, try to kill them fast. When am I going to have seven cards in hand anyway? I mean, if you have library at the beginning of the game. But I'm thinking that I'm going to take... Oh, Hex Mage for Lily is actually reasonable. I was thinking that we want to take out library and bring in a Maze of Ith. Um, Hex Mage is cool versus Mannequin too. Can you target it? Oh, because it has a, it has a Mannequin counter. Huh... Oh, I guess Mace is more like a spell. Oh, that's right. This is not a land. Never mind. Let me just get the library back in here. We need to cut a couple more things. Faith's Fighters looks good. Path looks good. Vamp looks good. Knights Whisper when this Prowlers look good. Buried Alive Lingering Souls. Get is Kitty and good. I like the aggressive. Bane Slayer Angel looks kind of crappy. Okay. I think I'll do that. Spectral Possession did look okay. Maybe Spectral is better than Sword of Light and Shadow. Maybe we just want to try to get aggressive like that. Okay. Let's do that. You can't cut the Imp. Imp is MVP. <laughs> Have some respect for the Imp. Look at this putrid Imp. Procession is just so hard to cast. Yeah, it is. But I actually thought that the Flyers were pretty good. Basically, your Angel sucks. It's just so slow. Baneslayer is pro bruiser brand. That's a good point. I still don't think I want it. I might want to put Baneslayer in play and take Woodfall Primus out or something. I have not German is a good. Yeah, we're not that far to, to cast. Uh, we're not that far from casting Spectral Procession with his hand. We just need one more white source. So let's keep. Oh no, they have a good start. 3 RB. Oh my goodness. Reveal the top 6 cards of your library and opponent exiles a non-land card from among them. Then you put the rest into your hand. The opponent may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Oh wow. Wow, that's a really cool card. It's The downside is like very real, right? Okay, well we can cast Spe Spectral Possession now. Though they did have like a super good start, so... I don't know... I don't know where we're long for this world. The hand looks good, but their hand looks way better. They went Swamp, Mox, Ruby, Ezid Signet. That's just as good as it gets. Man into Mana Vault? Jeez, must just be. Imp Seal. You just got a text from your real estate agent that someone thought they put down a deposit to rent out my new condo. Oh no! Slubars, that's so sketchy. I feel so bad for them. Oh no, I hope the I hope the deposit wasn't super big. They're not usually like enormous. So did they just like hear? Yeah, did they did they just hear from the like condo building and they were like, nah, this is like not for rent. 
Yeah, that's so, so bad. Hmm, we need to draw a discard outlet. Yeah, let us know if you find out. That's like so sketchy, Slubars. So here's the question. In case they reanimate Ashen Rider, I kind of don't want to play Karakas yet. So maybe I just play Plains. Or I just play Swamp. Play nothing and discard. I just don't have any way to reanimate anything Reign of Terror, so I don't think that's a good play. Let me just play my planes. Yeah, if we had a reanimation spell in hand, then maybe we could do that play. Like, if we had reanimate, we could do that with Woodfall Primus and then- or Iona, actually. Be pretty happy to name black against them. But currently, this looks like Through the Breach, maybe? Maybe not. Wheel of Fortune. Oh no. Wee. Oh my gosh, I have containment priest. Uh. Please reanimate! Please reanimate! Please reanimate! Please reanimate! Oh my gosh, please do it! Necromancy! We did get to discard Lingering Souls and two things that we can reanimate, so... And we got the library, too. Nothing? I think I'll play my Containment Priest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play the Priest, go down to six. Oh, no, that's kind of awkward. Did you get there? Let me see, Dreadlull. I might not play the Containment Prism. I might just play the Library. Let me see. This looks like a mono round deck with some Tinkers. I'm liking this deck. This deck is cool. Ooh, the Dreddy looks awesome in this deck. This deck is sweet. I don't know about the Tangle Wire. I hate that card. Um, Yeah, so let me just actually pass and get Library going. Down to seven. Draw. Hmm. Vamp's not bad. Oh, you know what I did? I should have just... I should have drawn on their turn. What am I doing? Because now I'm forced to play something or bin it. And I kind of want to play the... Conti like, it's going to be so obvious when I don't play my Lingering Souls. And I actually do kind of want to get the Lingering Souls going. Could also pass discard planes. That's actually reasonable. Hey, Moxo! Welcome on out to the brew. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate that. All right, let's just do that. I should have waited. That was a goof. Maybe I f did forget about the lingering souls. You don't know that. <laughs> let's see. I assume they had to draw something off of their wheel, right? They wheeled all this good stuff away and then they just didn't do anything else. Could just be holding up Vampiric. That's also, like, plausible for sure. <laughs> they got scared. We still have Toxic Delusion in our deck, so we can still vamp for that. I think this is Liliana Death's Majesty. Into, like, reanimate something. Oh my gosh, Dokumoi. That's the equivalent of the people who are like, your go, your go, your go. <laughs> Vamp for reanimate upkeep? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. And then get Woodfall Primus. So I can debate them right now if they try to reanimate anything back. They just made a token? And they bend in Tomb and land for reals. My opponent's such a coward, they always do this play. Um, I think I'll probably play... <sighs> Containment Priest, set an upkeep stop, vamp for reanimate. 
Oh, maybe I just vamp right now. Oh, that's right! That debates me too! No, you're totally right. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just shambling vent and vamp. Yeah, priest is global. I thought I like space for a second. I was like, oh, this is gonna work out just fine. Uh, reanimate. Okay, and then go back to my turn. There's a reanimate. We're at seven. So I can draw and then reanimate. Get probably. Oh, we can probably just reanimate their Woodfall Primus. Is that better? Yeah, I think taking their Woodfall Primus is better. Definitely target our Primus. Why? I think taking their Primus is better. It just removes an option for their Primus. Because of how Priest works? Oh, Persist goes to them. Oh, that's fair. That's a good point. I'll just get my Woodfall Primus. Yeah. That is, that is very, very good reason to do that. Let's kill Lily. Uh, we're down to seven. So I do want to have the option to priest, just in case. Let me play Swamp and pass. We're still down to five cards. They're also down to five minutes. Yeah, so if we don't play anything, we draw to seven, then library again. Either way, we were, like, doing pretty well here. Like, I'm interested in playing this Gideon at some point. They went to 16. So, how, did we see reanimate from them last game? Or at some point during this match? I, I can't remember. Ooh, they're in the clock. They are officially in gooby clock time. The gooby clock. Debated. And it got exiled too. Taste it. Ooh, I do like hemming. So, this is a little awkward because I really want to get my um, library going. So, maybe I just attack with Primus and play Lingering Souls flashback. You're excited your friend got me a Supreme Game Chest from DX for my cube. I'm slowly building down the kid. That's a cool gift. But I also really want to hem them. Like, it just sounds so sick to hem them. You'd prowler? Just try to get aggressive? You'd prowler and hem? That does sound pretty tempting. Maybe we just give up on it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's kick it off with him. We're pretty far ahead. I, we don't really have to just... We hit the corpse dance! <laughs> Although I guess it doesn't matter with Companion Priest, but in case they can kill it, it's decent. I need a, hold on, Black Source off this. And then I need a hit with Woodfall Primus. I know, this is, this is what Containment Priest was printed for. Really? Just chump with a zombie? Sure, I guess. I'm pretty sure they're going to have to start paying for the mana vault. They're going to take too much damage. Yeah, it's not even really a chump. It just saves two damage. I think they might have not known that it had trample. I'm not sure. They still have four cards, but most of their reanimation spells are dobs. They do have Shriek Maw in their deck. That's how they killed my Containment Priest last time. But the fact that we got the Corpse Dance is good. Yeesh. Um... That's bad. <laughs> well then. That gets around priest pretty good. <laughs> I guess I just let it happen. Uh, any order. What do we name for them? I guess we name black. It's gotta be better than naming red, right? What does that mean? 
Uh, hit exclamation mark sip, it'll tell you. I'm gonna name black. Okay, at least we have a Gideon too. Okay. They're killing my shambling vent, sure. Uh, what do we want to kill there? Is it Signet, probably? Mox Ruby. Either one's fine. Not the Mana Vault, because they're going to take damage from that. I'll take the Siggy. This is a Spider-Man, like... <laughs> I guess I can draw a bunch of cards with Grizzly B. But we did name Black on that thing, so as long as they don't kill me... Uh, neither of them are tapped. During your opponent's next turn, creatures that player controls attacks get injured if able. So I can, I guess, block the Woodfall Primus, but then it comes back and it kills my Gideon. Like if I block with my Iona, which doesn't seem amazing. What do we even do here? Oh, yeah, I like that. Gideon plus two, they attack Gideon, we attack them. Well, no, it's not actually lethal because uh, Grizzlebrain has lifelink. So they'd get a lot of... Yeah, Grizzlebrain, Grizzlebrain has lifelink, so that, that makes that play, like, not really work very well. Huh. Maybe we just a tight. Maybe we just play Lingering Souls and, like, hang. We could wait and get Grizzle to death if it chooses to attack, but we need to block Primus eventually anyway. Yeah, that's true. So I think maybe we just play Lingering Souls and like sit tight and relax. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll play a Plains. And then I won't attack. We'll see what they do. They probably hit with Grizzlebrand. And then we Gideon kill the Grizzlebrand. And then the Woodfall Primus, like we can figure out what we do with that at some other point. They're down to three minutes, too. No, I don't think this is going to go to clock. All right, let's see. Combat. Here comes Grizzly Beezy. Pretty sure I just have to chump it. Don't really want to be taking seven here. This is game three. Okay. Ooh, hello. I don't mind that. Let me go ahead and play this. Play a Gideon. Kill the Grizzly Beezy. Killing them with Mana Vault will be so sweet. Bye bye. <laughs> They're drawing seven. <laughs> I like it. Huh, so they. They're almost dead to the Mana Vault. The fact that they drew all that. So Zemo is cool. Thank you so much for the 24 months. Ba -da -dum -ba -da -dum -ba -da -dum. Um. Thank you so much, Zemo. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, they're pretty dead to Vault on Iona. I think I'm I'm okay if Gideon Jura dies here. Like, I can just attack with Iona and Spirit, and then, like, they're kind of forced to untap the Mana Vault here. Oh, yeah, if they have a sneak effect, that would be pretty bad. But here they're just, like, we're kind of forcing them to have to untap. Unless they choose not. Oh, wow. That's a bad sign for us. I mean, as long as they can't kill us from 10, I think we're fine. Because then next turn I can just either Spirit or Iona are lethal. Oh, they have an island. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't do anything right now. Oh, okay. They just, like... They were maybe just hoping to see if they drew something that would kill us in that spot, but they didn't have anything. Are we actually playing a reanimator deck with Containment Priest? Well, no. It's actually in the sideboard, um, Poopy. And we boarded it in because we were playing against another reanimator deck. And we kind of get to choose when we use the Containment Priest, so... The Containment Priest was actually, like, the MVP of that game. We won a match! Chat! That's amazing! I can't believe it. Ooh, look at that soul ring. We 
Wow, that buried alive looks terrible. It looks so bad. <laughs> That's true, Synth. The poll did allow us to play the containment priest. It's a trophy stream. We'll see. We can keep this. Mm, let's see what they do. Wait, are they discarding a the hand size? What just happened? Why did they do that? Weird. Why is Buried Alive bad? Because all of our targets are in our hand. <laughs> What's the record? Look, boy, we are, we are currently 1-0. Mmm. This ain't bad. We can Knight's Whisper and then see if we vamp tutor for something. But I think we need some more information about what we're doing first. Mm, nothing great. Yeah, we probably just vamp for... The problem is we don't have reanimate, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could we could slow roll play arena. How about I play magic online instead? Because that's what I feel like playing. Yeah, I think we can move to discard. And then next turn we can uh vamp for reanimate and then reanimate the Iona. I like it. I think I'm gonna. I, I this seems fine to me. So what happened in turn one that they didn't play anything? Disenchant? Oh shoot, 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 upkeep stop! Upkeep stop, no! It was locked, no! Feels so bad, man. Wow, I played myself. Horrible, okay. It's fine, I guess, let me just play my swamp. Ay, that sucks. That's what I get for locking it in the first place. Thran Dynamo. What are we naming with this? Basalt Monolith? Are we naming white or- I guess we're naming white probably. Let me vamp. Probably blue. Uh, reanimate. Yeah, this does look like an upheaval deck. Yeah, okay, let's name blue. <laughs> so bad. Also, main deck disenchant, yeah. Reanimate Iona. Ding dong. Take a million life. Name blue. Play a planes. Pass. Disenchant is probably okay in the vintage cube. It's a, it's a little weird, but I've seen Stranger Things. Oh my gosh, they just played a forest after we did all that. <laughs> No way! <laughs> oh no! Feels so bad. Debated. Okay, so even though that happened, it does mean that we didn't really get punished because that was going to happen even if we reanimated on the proper turn. Yeah, we would love to have a disenchant. You love to see it. I don't know if they have just nothing. It seems like maybe they just had one of those hands that ramps into nothing, maybe? Classic ramp into nothing hand. This looks like a ramp into nothing hand. It really does. Ooh. Fate's Fetters is a ramp into remove the next thing. Play a swamp. Do we want to bury it alive? We can get... A Woodfall Primus and a... Yeah, it's, it's like it's such a bad draw. It's not getting better and it's also so bad to draw like Woodfall Primus. So... Let's get... 
would fall Primus in there, and what are the bad draws here? Like, we don't really want to draw Pu Putrid Imp Finn to win. <laughs> Molly, no. Yeah. You, I love that emote too. I think the, the Imp, because it's so bad. The Prowler's a 3-1 attacker, so I don't hate that one. Um, and then all the other ones are fine draws, so I'll just do those two. Okay, so now we're just hoping that they don't have they don't ever draw anything good. How far are we from Shouldered? Seven? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can face fetters, whatever's coming. We got this, we got this. It's probably a planeswalker though. Well, that's stupid. Our only threat, no. Can you sack without a target? Oh god. I don't think anything had a counter, right? Oh, even even something that doesn't have a counter? Also Geddon? <laughs> they played Ravages? What the hell? Alright, we can just scoop. You can remove all counters from a place. That's weird. I guess that's the same way that you can untap an untapped creature. I thought you needed something with counters. It doesn't, I mean, it. I guess I would have stopped them from, we would have lost the following turn probably. Yeah, Hexmage is broad. I, I did not realize that. Lost to what? Oh, they would have Ravages and then they would have had a bunch of lands and I would have had nothing. Like instead of them ravaging that turn, I would have ravaged the next turn. Maybe they wouldn't have ravaged if they didn't have the 2 1. No, but it wouldn't have a 2 1, Molly. They they enchant with treachery, right? I sack it. They can't do anything. I go to my turn and I attack. Or sorry, I can't attack. I, I, I already sacked it when they targeted it. Then they go to their turn and ravages and they have like 4 mana. They have none. So. Yeah, I think I think I Yeah, I think basically we just still lose because they get in and then they have like three artifact mana or whatever and three or four artifact mana I have none. I have what planes in hand. So, it just I feel like all it means is we lose the following turn. I don't think we change anything. Uh Gerber hit exclamation mark stip. Card scene is weird in this deck. Purplish it was a stipulation draft. It's not that it's like it's not that we, like, wanted all these cards in the deck, you know what I mean? Mm, this looks okay. We got two little aggro creatures, and we even have the Iona to bend to the Unus Prowler. And Recurring Nightmare to bring it back. This time we name White. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to name, honestly. They do have Ravages, so maybe it is White. Okay. Land. Love it. Okay, so let's go Una's Prowler and then we'll bin the Iona and then next turn we can Recurring Nightmare the Prowler away and get Iona. White has a removal to deal with your swords. Yeah, that's what I think. That's why I want to name, um... That's why I want to name White this time. Yeah, I thought it was an upheaval deck too, but then as it turns out it was a Ravages deck. <laughs> they got us good. Alright, so Una's Prowler the Iona... Now dodge mana, mana tithe for like one second. I guess I should attack first because it is a 3-1 after all. And then go recurring nightmare. It could be both. Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay. okay. That and this. Um, choose a color for Iona white. Okay. We did it. Condemn would have been brutal there. Well, then, 
Yeah, I guess Condemn would be bad, right? They just, we get, we, we lose our creature. Maybe it's right to play around Condemn in that spot. Uh, yeah, I think, I think naming white is, 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 is the way. Hit with Iona, get him down a ton. And then we have lethal with a porcelain legionnaire. I don't know what opponent's playing. It looks like a big mana deck. It looked like a mono brown deck last I saw. Oh, they're trying to tap white, but they couldn't. They couldn't! They couldn't! Did you see that? They tried to. Chandra's fine. Sure. Yeah, we just go face. We can fight as a Chandra if we want. I don't even know if it's worth it. Oh, wow, we're playing against the Antichrist? Oh, no, the Antichrist. Yeah, I think I'm going to shut Fetters of Chandra just to give them one less draw. Because nothing in their hand is a, is a answer to Iona at the moment. Like, if they had an answer to Iona, they would have played it, right? So Chandra can possibly, like, give them one extra look. Yeesh! What is this? Oh, that has reach. Protection from a multicolored. Oh no. What do I do now? I guess I regret using the face fetters. This was just like such a random like <laughs> They can't attack me with it. That's good. I guess I just play my land and pass. Lol, that's funny. <laughs> oh, Hex Mage would be a fantastic draw here. Where's off Signet? Is it Selesnia Signet? No attack with Stone Coil. Yeah, Hex Mage! Hex Mage! Oh, that's pretty good, though. That makes them sack, right? They can activate the string Wildwood in response. At the beginning of your upkeep, return to your card from your graveyard to your battlefield. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature. So that's pretty good, even though it's not actually going to kill them this turn. Okay, so let's play Shieldred. Don't you dare mana type me. Okay. So they have one creature, and then they could potentially play another creature. They're going to have to upkeep... Activate string wildwood, sack it, keep the stone cold serpent. Oh, they just sacked the serpent. They could have just sacked the wildwood, the string wildwood though. Oh, that's true. Can't mana type with Iona and white. Sorry. Time to destroy. I see the one white open and I just like, I have this like visceral reaction to it. Wow, stone cold serpent, huh? Yeah, mana type has hurt me very much. Mana type has hurt me just like lifetime. You know what I mean. Uh, I think I still like what we did. I don't think we have anything to change. Oh my gosh, with nuclear Y. <laughs> Mana type has hurt me deeply. Let me double check. I'm meeting my friends later tonight. I want to see if they like figured out where they want to go. And they have not. Do I remember when I was building the cube deck after I drafted and I got to call you out on having blink of an eye in your 2 CMC file? Yes! <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, this hand's actually, like, quite good. We have the Prowler, the Shouldred, and the Vamp. Should we just YOLO? It's so close to being so good. We just need one Black Source, and it's... Is it? It kind of is. <laughs> vamp for Black Mana. Feels bad. If you get Black, you can Vamp... I guess it takes too long to activate everything. Am I on vacation? I'm visiting my parents in Ecuador right now. Yeah, I guess I'll just mulligan. Fine, chat. 
Oh no, this hand sucks. Uh, should we mull again? This hand's not good. This hand can't win. Me. Me. I guess we go to five, yeah. Uh. I guess I keep this. I can send back all the stuff that I can never cast, like Iona and Woodfall Primus. And then we keep Lingering Souls until hope to draw land to eventually play that. Play Una's Prowler and maybe we can even bend the souls. Should have kept. I know, man. Feels bad. We're on the draw at the very least. That's something. Should have YOLO'd. Ooh, that's, that's a good draw. That was a very good draw. We can't complain about that. The only problem with that other hand is that even if we got the black source, it was going to take a long time to do all the things. Because we needed to do three things before we could actually reanimate. So, we also have the play of on this turn. Oh, we drew the land. That's fantastic. I was going to say, we could attack with the Unus Prowler, see if we drew the land. If we don't, we can bin the Lingering Souls to Unus Prowler and then just flash it back and try to get aggro. I would love to get Arena, but unfortunately, I don't think it would run my laptop, so I won't be able to get it. Oh, I'm sorry, not so trendy. Maybe if you get a better lappy toppy. Wow, they are... They are at four serious Ravages deck. Let's some recon! Thank you for the 15! Happy New Year to you too! Hope you have an amazing one. Chat, what are your New Year's resolutions? I want to hear about them. New Year's is coming. You have to figure out those resolutions pronto. Oh no. That's kind of unfortunate. They're probably going to bounce my Prowler. Eat more pie? That is like a super sweet resolution. Ooh, hello. If I had double black, I could... Una's Prowler, Bin, Grape Titan, Reanimate. I think instead it's just play this. Ooh, I like that mess. That's cool. Play more Paper Magic. That's a good, that's a good resolution. Your solution is to attend an in-person MTG event each month. It'll probably be all FNMs, but at least something. That's a cool thing. I like it. Cool resolutions all around. Yeah, you. I think you still souls against tough. Um. So they would use their entire turn to animate string Wildwood to get rid of my spirits. Which feels like not incredible. I think that means we maybe just... Maybe we send anyway. Maybe we play Shambling Vent, attack to Fairy, they animate and kill one, we get to Fairy down to one, have more backup souls, and then the following turn, we can Unus Prowler, Bin Grave Titan reanimate. Yeah, and then we can attack and kill to Fairy. That seems aight. To try my best not to screw up, but my mental disorder will make it very hard. You can do it, not so trendy, but it's a good resolution. I like it. Yeah, look, this is fine. They're, they basically spent their entire turn to protect one loyalty off to fairy, and we get four souls off of a single card, so it's not a huge deal. They kind of time walk themselves in some way. And I can just play... Or actually, I want to play... No. I don't want to play Unus Prowler. I want to go wide against this. Get back in shape and run a marathon? Wow, that's a pretty sweet one. I kind of want to play more Paper Magic this year, too. I haven't played enough Paper Magic. I really like playing Paper Magic. Thran Dynamo into Ravages? Nah, that, that'd be weird. I just kill her to fairy. Oh my gosh, Wahoo! 
I used to be a TA, so I understand a little bit of that life of like the just YOLO till the literal morning of. It was a no bueno. When are your so just become a member of the Yelp elite? Ooh, how does that work, Slubars? I know those people can go do special stuffs and sometimes get special thingies at restaurants. Marathon suck. I should know I've run one. I don't think I could ever do that. Make that one of my resolutions. I, I am not really built for running very well. Let me play Una's Prowler. Uh, bin the gravy tea. And then just reanimate it. Because I feel like if their plan is to ravages, I want to... Oh, hold on. That doesn't work. I want to be ahead on board. You get a special thingies once a month? Yeah, I like special thingies. That's cool, Slovars. How do you become a Yelp Elite member? Gabby's resolution is to write her poem. My actual resolution is, um, I want to do a better job making sure I talk to mis padres, stay in touch with them. I've been doing better every year, but I always, like, always just get busy and then I, like, don't call. And so I want to do better at that. And I want to get in better shape because this year I fucking slacked so badly. Though <laughs> it wasn't even, like, a resolution I had this year. Oh, go leave a crown, Tom. And uh, I also want to do my, like, skincare routine every day, which I have slacked on doing before. Oh, my gosh. Everyone has the running the marathon year. Dude, I tried to train for a half K one time. I did not even get close. <laughs> so bad. Oh, they have so many walkers. Why are rupees called rupees? It's just from The Legend of Zelda. It's what the currency is called in that game. Sorry, not for a 1k. Uh, for a half marathon. I tried to train for a half marathon one time. It did not go well. Let me just tell you that. Wait, did they... Hold on. Did they punt? They can't activate this, right? So... Don't I have enough loyalty to kill everything they just played? <laughs> well, Wahoo, I talk to them every week and we text on the family chat. So it's not that it's not, like, it's not that I just don't call home or anything, but I want to be, like, I want to do a better job staying in touch with them. Like, I, I feel for a lot of my friends, I, I talk to my parents more than they even they do. But I, I do understand that they're far away from home, you know? So I'm not going to hex mage yet. I don't think I have to. I, I want to make them... I might debate them, actually. Look, I can send this at Chandra and Chandra. And then this at Oko. Oko Loco. Oko. 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 So that's Oko, Oko, Oko. Yeah, so that's five at Oko and then three and two at Chandra and then this at them. Yeah, they just did look, they didn't even have anything. Play my hexy. Yeah, this is not too that There's no fog in the cube, so it couldn't have been fog. Okay, Mirari's Wake is fine, I guess. It's a little scary. It's a lot of mana. They can like hard cast Emrakul now, I think, maybe. Oh, it doesn't double the signets, I guess. Okay, attack with all creatures. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a string wildwood. I don't even care about that. I ain't even mad. DK, DC. This is the second match currently. I guess I could have sent with my shamble, Dad. Maybe I should have sent... Oh, can I fetters that? Doesn't it fall off? Oh, it doesn't. It actually just enchants the land and then they can't activate it. Oh, if, if that's their plan, though, I almost feel like I don't care. Except I, I do totally care about whatever this is. This has got to be upheaval, right? Oh my god, no! 
I died because I didn't fade spatters. No. Oh my god. Or send with a shambling vent for that matter. Vents would have done it and face fetters would have done it. Oh, so sad. Wow. And we're gonna win the next turn too, I think. No, fettering the wake doesn't do anything. Yeah, we should be 2-0 right now. We got robbed. We got robbed. Yeah, there was a prediction about going one and two, but one of them was going to be really close and a heartbreaker. Yeah, we're preventing the wake from attacking or blocking. No big deal. Damn. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that. Wow. Um, you can probably keep this, though. We could have been 2 0 with this monstrosity. Feels bad, man. Keep. Mm. I'll just play planes. I don't need to know about Karakas yet. But I, I can't give them, I can't stop them from getting 10 mana plus. Marburger. What do you want to do about... Yeah, what do you want to do about the mana they're gonna have? There's literally nothing I can do to prevent the mana they have. It's not like I'm, like, gifting them the mana. Oh, we try to kill them quick. We're gonna kill them as quick as possible. Yeah. Just, like, use face fetters like O-Ring. I think people think face fetters are something different than it does. It's okay, Marburger. But yeah, people people do do that a lot. They're like, you should have done this. It's like, well, maybe, but if maybe I should just cheat harder. <laughs> maybe if I cheated more. Maybe if I cheated more, I wouldn't have lost there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're playing against red green stuffs. Yeah, just cheat. Just draw better. Han Master of the Fells. I think we're gonna Toxic Deluge next turn. Toxic Deluge for three. This is just way too much stuff. We are in the gruel bracket, but Molly, we're just one one, so it's not no no no. She almost misclicked. Weesh. That was bad. Yeah, our opponent's on Gruel Garbos. 100%. Next turn, we can just go like Lingering Souls. Yeah, me too. I'm glad I was doing the click the land, then, the, or like click the spell, then tap the mana. Oh, that's even better. Let's just send a Karn. If they attack with uh, with Raging Ravine, I think that's fine. We can just Karn and tick up. I know, Molly. I thought about doing Christmas for it, and then I was like, no. <laughs> I have, I think I, I have too much self-respect to do that stipulation. Two cards enter the revealed card zone, Porcelain Legionnaire, and... Oh, no. We dub. Are we all right? I think we're alive again. I think it just becomes unstable for like a second. Yeah, my internet here is not, not very good. I'm glad I don't have to use this for much longer. <laughs> Why doesn't Boris get the respect it deserves? If more people were preaching the good word of the good word, the good word of Boris control, maybe this thing has trample, right? Mm. No, it doesn't. We dobs? No, I think we're back slubers. It just was kind of sketchy for a second. Let's keep ticking up. Hmm. 
It's actually kind of fancy slew bars. I got into like um, retinol this year. So retinol is this uh, kind of like, it's something that you can, it's, it's, it's kind of like a thing you can add to some moisturizer. It's just a serum um, that, hold on, how does this work? During the target opponent's next turn, creatures that player controls attacks getting up to target player's next turn. Your mom uses it? Yeah, retinol is sweet. So what it does is it basically makes your skin shed twice as often as it should, like especially your facial, um, your facial, because you put it on your face. So it there's like a whole routine that goes with it. Like you put the serum on and then like vitamin C serum on and then like a moisturizer on. Um, but it basically makes you shed your skin on your face um, twice as often. So it makes it look like nice and shiny and pretty cool. But you do have to use the uh, the routine really well. They keep attacking Gideon, but I don't think... Like, is that actually helping? Uh, what is the stipulation? Hit exclamation mark step and you'll see it. Ooh. I can do Gideon Tribal. They played a Ramunap, dude. Oh my gosh, Nucleo! <laughs> Polonium does that too. Yeah, I'm only familiar with retinol. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we just play Gideon and make a token. I could also use this and make a Karnstruct so that we have more blocks so that when they attack Gideon, I can just st still get more value, you know? Uh, it's at night, slow bars, and then like every morning I put on sunblock and stuff. So this year was a big deal because I actually finally went through the, you know, like I finally started doing the skincare routine as it's supposed to be. And I was like pretty happy that I maintained it throughout the whole year. So let me make a night ally. With Karakas you can attack with Gideon Bounce and then replay him and make a token. Oh, that's kind of cute. I am going for the Gideon Gad, the Chad, the Chad gang. Uh, I think I took down Karn. I think I take down Karn and then I'll have two creatures. Then this attacks my Gideon and they can double block Ramunap Excavator and kill it. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. The next turn I can get um, Shieldred going. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I do not know about that. I only know about Retinol. <laughs> But yeah, I, I finally started doing it this year and I was very consistent with it and I did it the entire year and I think I had good results from it. So I was proud of that. That was my resolution for last year. I wanted to like really be consistent with it. Dude, my opponent loves to attack with Shambling that. Oh, no, it's a Vivian read. Never mind. They're just ticking up. I really want to kill Viv. I can't back Legionnaire with Karn yet, Synth. My Karn is uh, low. Do you think they have a pump spell if they're making this attack? This is, the attack is super sketchy. I think I'm fine double blocking, though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to try to attack the Viv next turn. Like, I'm going to turn these two into creatures and try to hit. Ah, eh, that worked. Um, This hits for five. Is that right? And this hits for six. So I have to send Night Ally. I have to send... Oh, that's right. They had to attack Gids. That explains the attack. Sorry. I forgot I ticked up with Gideon. I'm a, I'm a goober. Let me zero this Gideon, I think. Yeah. Yeah, easy on the caps, poopy. Let me go ahead and kill that Viv. What combat tricks are there in cube? It would have just been a, like, no, no pump spell. Would have had to be something like, um, lightning bolt or something in that spot. Is it poopy? I don't think so.
There, I don't believe there's any actual pump spells in the cube. Like, I don't think that's a... Oh, it is? I'm on a kind of slow delay. It's probably my internet. Like, that stinks. Like, when you type in chat, it shows up, like, much later in the chat. That's, that's stupid. Let me make a zeros and, oh, come on, they're super done. Yeah, that, is, I mean, I, I'm trying to understand what they're saying, Molly, because if it's the chat, if the chat is laggy, it's one thing. If they're saying the chat is slow, it's like, that's just kind of, one, I don't think it's true, and two, not helpful. All right, we beat, we beat Gruel Feast. <laughs> um... Did they have anything that was containment priestable? Not really, right? It is more lag time between sending and seeing it shown. That okay, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Put in wish clan, no, never. <laughs> Chat seems normal to you. I have had a tough time streaming from here just because the internet here is much worse. So multiple times it looks like the stream's like right about to like drop and and then it doesn't. But I feel like we've always been like this close to having the stream go offline. I don't think we change anything. This is pro white black, which doesn't help. We go to advanced setting and toggle low latency. I thought that was for the streamers though. Okay, I don't think we have anything to change here. Oh no, I'm seeing my stream had a rush rough patch again. Okay. Ooh. We got Buried Alive Reanimate. Love it. I feel like we always have been Yeah, Nucleo. I might actually wrap up the stream after this draft, because the internet looks like it's I see it all the time because, you know, the dashboard actually has a dashboard actually has a thing that shows you uh, the bitrate as it's coming and it's like dips into red all the time, then goes back up, then dips into red again, then goes back up. So I kind of think it's a turn one discard, Yuka. I kind of think it is. Yeah, I think this is a discard to hand size keep. Don't stop speaking when you are moving so I know the stream is still alive. Oh, I didn't know that, Ryan. Interesting. Yeah, all right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to discard. This is like my favorite play in Magic. I love it so much. It's part of it is because I used to play... Um, <laughs> what's it called uh that stupid that stupid uh grizzle brand cheating out deck i forget the name of it no not landless it was not landless dredge i'm trying to remember no i haven't enabled my codic gorio's vengeance thank you molly I used to play a lot of that deck. <laughs> and like one of the best plays you could do with that one, or you would do it all the time. It was just like, yes, we did it. Nah, I never really played Neoform. Never got into that. We could have three owned with this deck. I can't believe it. If not for the stupid Fates Fetters play. Hey, Dr. BB Math, how are you? Oh no. The deck was fun. I can't believe we, we got, we almost trophied. Oh, that's true, Molly. Had we won the second round, we probably would have gotten paired against a good blue deck in the last round, and then we would have lost. That's okay. I'm pretty proud of our two one. That was pretty sweet. Uh, let me wrap up this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe uh, one of our last stipulation drops from Ecuador, but I'm planning on doing some more when I get back to Chicago. Not Chicago. I no longer live there. To Denver. Back in Denver. Um, if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash If you want to come say hi to us, 
you're going to see more stipulation. Wow, this is like the best outro ever. If you want to support the channel in a free way, you can hit that subscribe button because that helps the stream out, um, stream slash channel out and lets me know that you like what's going on here. Thanks again for watching, YouTube. Sorry about that. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.